already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Leo, recent past energy between you and your person, Two of Cups, and it is with the Seven of Wands. Now, this Two of Cups can refer to romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance. It can speak of joy, friendship, and also sharing. Now, this card, it actually says that things are likely to be going really well. So, you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. Now, it's with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands, you are likely to find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going very well, you should be feeling good, any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. So, just know, when you get this Seven of Wands in a reading, you may still have some regular moments of self-doubt, unfortunately. But, it's actually going to be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. Because your thinking is clear, and you could actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. Yeah, this Seven of Wands, it can also point towards being independent and also thinking for yourself. So, Leo, recent past energy, Two of Cups clarified by the Seven of Wands. Well, this is actually really good because Two of Cups is like the ideal partner. So you felt like you were with the one you were supposed to be with. It felt like a harmony, a union. It felt like a deep connection, a very romantic love. And you both wanted to come out on top. You both wanted to win the connection. You both... We're in it to win it. You both want it to be the last man standing. Yeah. So, the, re the, the recent past energy between you and your person is actually pretty good. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So, we got this page of swords. And it's with the Knight of Wands. Page of Swords can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it could represent someone who's younger than you. This person um, could be coming with a message. Because the Page of Swords can be a message bearer. So there's a message coming in now. In this instance, because it's a page, and this page has a huge sword in its hand, this tells us that this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. Yeah, the page, whenever you hear that word page in the tarot, that can indicate Youth, it can indicate a student, it can indicate immaturity, or just maybe someone who's younger than you. So, it could feel like this, like I said, this person is trying too hard, maybe pushing too fast. Or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So, you just might need to study their body language and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. Now, it's with the Knight of Wands. 
With the Knight of Wands, it's showing in the picture, the card that's below the word present, that it's actually a good time to travel if you can get away. Um, the Knight of Wands is all about feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is likely to be increasing, and this would help reach towards any goals that you have. The Knight is also a message bearer, and the messages, they are likely to be positive, could be related to work, or maybe even career, family, or romance. So coming up, Leo, Page of Swords, clarified by this Knight of Wands. So yeah, like I said, um, you, you're with someone where things were really good between the two of you. The both of you were were in this connection to win it. But coming up, there could be some fight or argument or some conflict. Because this page can be about conflict. Yeah, it can be about someone doing things that you don't really appreciate. This page of swords can be the type that would keep tabs on you. They would stalk you, they would watch you, just do silly stuff. Things that most people don't really appreciate it. And it brings conflict. So, what I'm getting is, that's your person. Leo, yeah, you could be dealing with someone who's younger than you. Maybe by a few days, a few months, a few years, and for some of you, even decades. Yeah, some people do roll like that. But yeah, if not younger than you, you might start to feel like this person is on the immature side. And it's making you feel like this Knight of Wands. The card that's below the word present. Yeah, the Knight of Wands is a very fearless, brave type of energy. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But yeah, I'm getting, this is you, Leo. Yeah. You, you feel like you need to just have one foot in and one foot out of this connection because your person is starting to piss you off or they could just start start to annoy you because they're bringing conflict coming up and like I said it's going to come up, come across as being really immature yeah page of swords they could be reaching out to you with some messages, some texts that you don't appreciate. Or they could just start doing things that, like stepping on your toes, literally. Page of Swords, very immature type of energy. And you're going to just feel like, I don't really need to be in this. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming. Well, we already did that. Let's see what the challenge is going to be. That's where we need to go. Okay. So the challenge, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. And it's with the Page of Cups. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is actually really good. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. It says that you have a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds. Finance. Health. All these things will be going well. When you get the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. So you may need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. And be sure to share what you have. Even if, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we all, we all know that we get back what we get out. Now it's with the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups actually shows a need to play. Dream, have a little fun. When this card appears, it can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too seriously. Yeah, there was a poet or a writer that once said, The one important thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative, and the second can be a disaster. You have to know the difference. So, your challenge, Leo, 
Ten of Pentacles. And it's it's with this page of cups. Yeah, so like I said, your person coming up, they can start to do things you don't appreciate and you're just gonna feel like you do not need to give this one hundred percent anymore. Or you're just gonna feel like you just need to be Oh well, you're gonna feel like I said before, you're gonna feel like you just should only have one foot in and one foot out of this connection. But the challenge is showing with this Page of Cups here. Things turn around for the better. Page of Cups and Ten of Pentacles is, is really good. Page of Cups is a playful energy. So you two, you, you, you break up and then you make up. Because this page of cups, the card below the word challenge, it can be about a play, very playful energy, a happy surprise. Maybe your person will reach out to you with some something that you would really appreciate. Some type of happy surprise. Um, it can also be about open-hearted energy. And of course, intimacy, because if you look at the page of cups, the card below the word challenge, you see these three people, they're hanging out at the park. They're halfway naked. They're turning up the bottle. So yeah, it's about intimacy. So yeah, you guys break up, have a fight, and you kiss and you make up. That's what's, that's what's going on here. And it feels good because it turns into the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in the reading. So you no longer feel like you should have one foot in and one foot out. You're all in at this point and your person has he your person has grown up. Yeah. The both of you are looking at this connection as the end-all be-all yeah you feel like this person is someone that you could have it all with and they're feeling the same way about you yeah the Ten of Pentacles it brings commitment it can bring engagement it can bring marriage childbirth and of course a second chance Ten of Pentacles can be about a second chance. Yeah. So things are looking really good. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Queen of Swords. And it's with the Knight of Swords. Now the Queen of Swords can point to a woman or a person in your life. This woman, she's actually... The type of person that's not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes. And if this is not a person, it can point to the need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So you may need to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts, they're on point. They're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. Yeah, this Queen of Swords is a very forceful type of energy. And some people find this really abrasive. Now it's with the Knight of Swords, which brings an upbeat, cheerful type of energy. It can often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. The Nine of Swords, it also points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone, or you're wondering if you're going to hear from someone, well, yes, you will, and you're likely to like what you hear. The Nine of Swords can point to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things done and accomplished, so... You're not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. You're going to go after your heart's desire. That's what the Knight of Swords does. 
So, Leo, your outcome, Queen of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Swords. So, yeah, like I said, you guys kiss and make up, and it's all good. Ten of Pentacles is all good. But like I said, your person, they're still who they are. They're still this page. And like I said, I told you what the page indicates. Someone younger than you could be a student. Um, could be on the immature side. Yeah, or a youth, student, immaturity, or someone who's just younger than you. So, this Knight of Swords, it's usually about a message coming in and it's good. And this person cuts out whatever is in their way just to get to where they're trying to go. Or who they want to be with. But if you take a look at the Knight of Swords, it's a card below the word outcome. He's rushing, he's charging forward. He does have the sword in his hand. Yes, he will cut out whatever gets in his way just to get to his person or his situation. And that's your person. Usually the Knight of Swords rushes in, but your person is rushing out because he's not facing the relationship. He's not facing that Page of Cups anymore. So your person, something happens where they have to rush out. They're gone. They're out of, they're out of this connection. At least for the moment. Maybe they got a phone call. Because like I said, the Knight of Swords is about a message coming in. And you and this person rushing forward. So your person is receiving some type of news. And it, it's making them rush, rush out. Now if this Knight of Swords was facing inwards. But it's facing outwards away from. The Page of Cups, away from the other cards. He's rushing outwards. Yeah, so your person is out. He's got to go. Just got a phone call. Just got some type of news. And you're not happy about this. The Queen of Swords is not a happy camper. No, she's not. So you're ready to put your foot down. Yeah, Queen of Swords is forceful. It's a very mean type of energy, not not standing for anything, not standing for anything else, and she puts her foot down. So you're, you're not happy about this message that your person gets that causes them to rush out. I don't know what the message is. Maybe it's their mother who needs some help, and she lives way across town. And your person loves their mother. If it's a man, there's a lot of men out there that will do anything for their mom. It could be something like that. Yeah. And there's a lot of women that don't like their, their person's mother. Or a lot of people um, who have a stepmother. Not a stepmother, but a mother-in-law. They don't usually get along, so it could be something like that. The person has to rush out to go give someone that they love a hand. And you're not happy about it, because you don't like the person anyways. It could be something like that. I don't know why your person's rushing out. I wish I could tell you, but that's the outcome, Leo. You're not happy about it. It doesn't mean that this is over. It just means that you you and your person were enjoying each other. And then here comes this big um some some type of interruption here. Yeah. You're not happy. So that's the outcome. Leo, 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in your future for the two of you, how you see yourself, the best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, once again, thanks so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Leo reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or even a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Leo, I'm going to say it again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.